days when you're just half not sure about vlogging and then you end up doing the same vlog 15 fucking times because your GoPro won't record. Sorry about my language there. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up guys? I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, today I thought I would put on the camera and try and do a vlog. It's always trying with me because it never bloody work. Uh, trying to do a little vlog and just like I used to do and just chat to the camera and bring you guys along. It feels a bit more personal to me to be able to talk to you like this even though I'm talking to a camera stood in the side of my room getting ready to go and fly. But it still feels a bit better than just only communicating by typing on the internet. So how you all doing? I hope you are really well and let me know what you're flying. Let me know if you've got any big plans for the summer, what's going on. I hope you are well. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so why is the camera on today? Today I've just finished doing uh, promotion work for Happy Models Next Quad, the Mobula 7 HD Express LRS 1S version. I can get good saying that now. I've just finished doing promotion work for that. I found myself with a bit of free time to just have a build and have a play around. So I built up my, uh, well, whatever I could into my 80mm frame again. And I just want to go and take that out and go and do, well, I want to go and chase some animals and do a bit of like cinematic, you know, photography in a sense, I guess. Uh, I did a video the other day where I was chasing a pigeon for a tree and it really hit me differently for styles of FPV. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was like, in a sense, beautiful in a way. I know the footage wasn't, you know, the footage was good, but I wouldn't say it was beautiful. The experience of flying like that was was beautiful. That's all I can say. So I got really hyped on it. So I want to go and chase some animals and go and see what I could do. So I built this little stealth uh, 80. Uh, well, I built it. it's the same build I've been flying for like last three years. <laughs> so I've got that on the go. Uh, I'm gonna go and have a little freestyle session first, see if it's running okay and if it's running all right in this uh, on this windy day. I'm going to get up into the field and go and try and chase some deers with it. So, uh, bomb, I hope you enjoy this little edit and I'll probably turn the camera back on in a bit. So, bomb! Breathing in, I can feel it as you hold me Under my skin, are you kidding me so slowly? So here we are, we are alone again tonight But I'm in your arms, your arms, so I'll be, I'll be alright Cause you light up my heart, light up the spark in my eyes like I'm in a dream Would you be there tonight, kiss my mouth with your poison keep an external mic on me to save my life I've had so many over the last few years and I just can't keep it on me but I am really contemplating on getting a, uh, a half decent vlogging camera for this summer session because uh, I want to do more outdoory stuff I'm getting better now you know I can walk around more uh, and I really want to take you around the Lake District not just with drones but with all sorts of things you know let's go uh, let's go FPV and paragliding this summer I want to do stuff like that and bring you guys with me. So I need a better vlogging camera. So I think the time's come to get a, I think another GoPro on finance because it's the best of both worlds, isn't it? So any suggestions for me for a new GoPro? I'm not asked about the weight. I just want something uh, that's got stabilization and a good mic. So please drop, oh, sorry. Please drop me a comment and let me know what a good GoPro is to buy or get on finance is probably gonna be the case. I can't afford a GoPro. I can't afford no GoPro. <laughs> okay, now, really, if it wasn't for you guys, and I don't thank you guys enough, if it wasn't for you guys and Happy Model, I wouldn't be able to afford to fly. Never mind. Oh, 
Right, I'll show up now because I've got two little baby deers right here. Stay around. So I've got super view on the GoPro, but I hope I'll zoom in a bit so you can see that hopefully. Just chained and locked inside my head. Yeah, yeah. But it won't never be the same again. I'll just face the dark inside my head Cause there's nothing else to do, yeah But it won't never be the same again If they will say fire, fire, hey shot I wanted but you're filming wildlife that's what it is isn't it let's get these guys out of the way come on guys move all the way come on. quick yeah it's kind of what happens when you're filming wildlife isn't it you've just got to be at the right spot at the right time so hopefully I'll come back I mean to be fair even my flying after that wasn't great uh, I brought two batteries with me and forgot to charge one so I had like 20 seconds flight and then only two minutes with the other, uh, with my current setup, it's not super at all, really. After the kind of flight times I'm used to getting to these days. Uh, yeah, let's start back to the car. I'm gonna go home and uh, I'm not gonna lose my drone in my pocket. But I'm gonna go home and have a look at this footage and see what's what, and hopefully get charged up and go for another pack. But I'll leave this video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little vloggy talky could bring you guys with me for the trippy thingy. <laughs> I, uh, I'm obviously not very good, not great at doing these things, but I'm, it's all from the heart, lads. So, you know, smash a like for effort, eh? Uh, yeah, so that's it. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Be a strong up when I